We are in New York right now because uh, Soul Pepper Theatre Company has brought Kim's Convenience, who are one of, uh, I believe, 13 shows that they've transplanted from Toronto to bring to New York. We've got three of the original cast members. There's me, there's Paul, and there's Ince playing Junk. <laughs> it's been incredible, like, just being on 43rd and Broadway in Times Square, looking up and seeing Kim's Convenience <laughs> going, whoa, what, what happened? When we go back to Toronto, everything's going to seem so small. Nah. Yeah, it will. Nah. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. Nah. When we've been on tour, it's always been in places smaller than Toronto, and this is the first time we've ever gone to a city bigger than Toronto. So I'm very happy to be here making my off-Broadway debut. There it is, Signature Theatre. Come on. It's a Canadian play, will it translate? And this woman was just mentioning to me, she's like, you know, it translates because this whole country is a nation of immigrants. Kim's Convenience is like the majority of New Yorkers' story. So it's really inspiring because they come to see this, this play and they can connect with it intrinsically with their own sort of personal histories. I really love your show and your portrayal of an Asian American dad or like tonight. Oh, thank as, as a first generation. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. American fans, the takeover begins. A year ago, we found out that Kim's Convenience to Play was going to New York. And so right then and there, I'm like, let's go to New York. Um, Nicole, myself, Simu, Andrea, we brought out Michael, who plays Taryn. Brought them out to go support and to see our family. So we are at Haru Sushi, uh, right out of Times Square. We're here supporting Paul and Jean, who are about to uh, do the Kim's Convenience play tonight at 8. We're super excited to see it. So far, uh, tons of positive reception, both critically and just, you know, anecdotally from the audience. So we're super excited to go and support them. Yay! Yay! Well done, well done. I know, I know. I just ran in, I saw the show. No, it was amazing. It was funny, heartfelt, um, everything that I would have hoped it would have been plus more. It was just so amazing seeing Paul and Jean up there, and of course seeing Ince. Uh, playing the role of John, which I've never seen before. At the beginning of the show, Andrea looks at me and says, uh, I, I, I promise I'm, to myself I'm not going to cry. I decided at the beginning that I wasn't going to cry. And there were many, 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 many times that I was going to. This show has grown from the Fringe Festival to New York City. To just sort of see the little play that could translate, not only outside of Toronto, uh, across Canada, but outside of Canada in the United States. I loved New York, yeah, and I'll absolutely go back again.